Hey everyone, Jelan's here today. We are in London, yes, London, England, London, UK, guys, outside the Man vs. Food London restaurant. Here, we're going to attempt their Three Little Piggies challenge. So, this is a very large rib challenge. So, this challenge consists of three very, very, very large racks of ribs with a uh, side of coleslaw and a thing of french fries. If you complete it, you get a net win of $40, 40 pounds. You pay for the food regardless, which is uh, 60 pounds, and if you win, you get 100 pounds. That makes sense. So, potential win for 40 pounds, um, not free meal. That being said, all pretty cool. Um, 30 minutes, like I said. I think that's all the details. I'll give you some more. Um, uh, the server actually told us this is very tough to eat. He said the rubs are very, very tough, and there's lots of skin that's hard to chew. So, for the server to be telling us that, I don't know, I'm a little worried. But anyway, let's head on in, let's have fun. Let's eat some food. Did you know there's 7.5 billion humans on this earth that could be playing Raid Shadow Legends right now? Well, if you're not one of them, why not start right now? But before we go any further, let me tell you about my new favorite faction in Raid called the Sylvan Watchers. So rather than building a sprawling city on the ground or in a cave, the Sylvan Watchers made their home in the Mistwood, a huge jungle in the east of Teleria. But don't expect to walk in the park if you want to visit them. If the beasts don't kill you, the Sylvans probably will for trespassing on their land. They do have a city open outside just called Nyreza, and they made fast friends with the neighboring Shadowkin and Dwarf factions through their shared struggles, and that's why these three factions are all in the Nyrezian Union Alliance in-game, as their bond of friendship was formed in the city of Nyreza. So if you don't know, now you know. There's a huge variety of characters in the faction, some even have plants and mushrooms growing on them. And here's a few of my favorites, including Cormac the High Peak and Dudan the Runic. I love the design of them, and they all have their own unique strengths and abilities. Raid is actually having a Valentine's Day event. New players can enjoy a special Valentine's theme adventure with the Raid Love Quest. All you can do is download Raid Shadow Legends from the link below, copy in your game ID, and then head to raidlovequest.plarium.com. There you can play one of the Valentine's theme mini games for a chance to win some fantastic in-game real life prizes. And if you're already a player, you're not missing out. You can go to the same website and find a special promo code that anyone you use get a small Valentine's gift. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, you can use the link down below in the description or the QR code on screen and download it right now. And you'll get some unique bonuses worth $30, including the free champion Shinoru and other useful stuff. So thanks to Red for sponsoring this video. Download the game now. And that, let's get the rest of the video. Everybody, so looking real good. We'll get started here just momentarily because they are closing. Um, but yeah, guys, like we said, so they got all the ribs and then french fries, coleslaw, and that's about that. So 30 minutes. So how about we get started? We'll say at the count of... Hey, Rob. All right, let's say five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Interesting flavor. Right before we just showed up in London, and literally within minutes we did this challenge. So. I see what they mean about the tree bit. This may take a while. <laughs> it's like beef jerky. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here taking on a, well, deceivingly, deceivingly hard challenge. You cannot always judge a book by its cover, and this is a perfect example of it today. So here we are taking on the Three Little Piggies challenge, and oh my gosh, was it ever difficult. That bit was at least softer. So upon ordering the challenge, the server said it was extremely difficult because of the burnt ends. That is their literal word. And I was like, well, what do you mean by that? Try this coleslaw. It's very rich looking. Interesting flavor. But, I mean, well, I know how they cook these ribs. They cooked them in an oven. But I gotta say, these were the most interesting ribs I have ever had in my life. There were literally pieces which were so... I'm gonna use the term baked onto the bone that I wasn't even sure if it was bone versus meat unless I literally kind of bit it to taste. You gotta work for your meal. It's hard to tell. What's a bone and what's not a bone? 
There were pieces that literally were like the equivalents of beef jerky covered in an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly thick, sticky sauce. And then there were some pieces of tougher meat covered in a sweet, sticky sauce. And then there were a couple pieces of softer meats covered in an incredibly sweet, sticky sauce. How you doing, Scott? Good, you? Chillin'. So I'm just speaking objectively and telling you how it was. I'm not saying the food was bad. I'm not saying there was it was cooked improperly or anything, but that's just exactly how it was. And this was by far one of the like ar arguably tougher challenges I've had in a very long time. You did a rib challenge. Oh wow. Fortunately, we couldn't do it together, but. All right. So this here is like. Nice and sweet. Can't even get that out of the bone. Once I really started eating it, I realized I was gonna have to just eat. I'm gonna start just stripping all these bones. Stripping the bones is the hardest, I think. It yeah, seems to be a, it sounds like a common theme right now. I just got sauce in my clean shorts. So my friend Scott was doing another challenge at a different table. We did both try to do the ribs, but they said they only had enough for one person. So I was lucky enough to get to do them, whereas he did a different challenge. They have many here. Crunchy. So this was my first time having ribs in the United Kingdom. So let me know down below, if, you know, for those who have eaten ribs in the United Kingdom, how these stack up to other ribs in the United Kingdom. All right, there's some softer bits. That's real good. A little bit, at least. My usual strategy of, you know, just kind of get rid of the meat and get everything down kind of had to be thrown out the window. And I really had to uh, just start trying to get all the meat off the bones because that was literally the most difficult part. Like I said, some of it was just literally so baked on, I could barely tell if it was meat or if it was bone. So I just had to get it off and try to get the edible portions. Soft bed. Followed by a firm one. We did get there quite late at night, so I do appreciate the hospitality of the restaurant allowing us to do one of their six challenges. Lots of sauce, very sticky. I think I'm about maybe seven and a half minutes or so. I could be wrong. Definitely lots of sauce. All over the face, all over the hands. Very messy. And there was no way not being messy. There was just so much of this sauce, like it was so overly covered in it. And it was the sweetest, stickiest sauce I've ever had in my life. That being said, it didn't taste bad. It was just so much of it. I mean, so, so much. So everything deboned? <laughs> Let's just get, no, that's a bone. Let's just get this down. Good observation. <laughs> like for some of it. I think the soft bits are really nice. So how we ended up here so late was actually because another challenge canceled on us last minute. Yeah, lots of cartilage in these actually. We were up in the Bradford area about three and a half hours away to do a challenge which we had set up for two weeks and long story short they canceled. Woo! Very sweet, that's for sure. <sighs> oh yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we called this place and they said we could order food until 10 o'clock. We looked at the clock and it was about 6.45. We said, can we do it? Three hour drive, we decided to race down here to try. All right, and I think about 11 and a half inches or so. 11 or something anyway, I can't see. We're getting done. Blow the trailer. 
Definitely a jaw workout. So it was a very long day. I was completely out of it with all this mumbling, you can tell. Um, it, this would have been 4 a.m. of on like my body clock with the time change. So I hadn't eaten all day and now I was eating all this tough food at 4 a.m. The equivalence of 4 a.m. for me. So I'm sure my body was just like, Joel, what on earth are you doing? All right. I'm about to finish up. Oh boy. All that being said though, 30 minutes, you know, we definitely had to go absolutely hard, especially in the chewing department. With that new microphone, it definitely picks up all that chewing, that is for sure. But that's pretty much it, everybody. Uh, the rest of the bits are just soft. Again, we were hoping to get that 40 pound net gain, and I really do have no complaints. I'm just speaking objectively. Try to clean up a little bit. Ooh, that's sweet though. I feel my blood sugar's okay. rising. Okay, that's ready, Thanks, my friend. On the, on the next time. Right. Next, let's do these fries with some kind of seasoning on them. What are you doing? Are you ready? Are you ready? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you what is the time there, my friend? What do you get for that shot? Pardon? Do you, do you make money out of that? Yep. Is that vodka? No. Can I get the vodka in each shirt? So I really appreciate you watching, everybody. And at that, let's ultimately... Well, let's just see how the video ends. I'm not gonna die. All right, everybody. <laughs> and we're finished right there. Yes. What's the time on it? 15, 20, 70 official time, guys. Holy crap, I gotta say. Very sweet. Definitely some salt burns around my mouth. That was very, very... There's a lot of chewing. I definitely had to work for that one, but hey, we get the meal for free. No, we don't. Well, technically, I guess we kind of do. We we make 40 quid nonetheless. That being said, guys, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, no complaints. Uh, so yeah, we make 40 quid, and apparently there's a new record. Nonetheless, guys, so... <coughs> excuse me. I have nothing else to say. Until next time, have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.